This video is sponsored by the Epic VFX Academy. If you want to learn how to create epic VFX from A to Z, definitely check out the link in the description below to put yourself on the waitlist. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ines Alea and in today's video, I will show you how to create your own HUD elements using Adobe After Effects. As you know, I've already made a tutorial showing you how to integrate HUD elements in a realistic manner from our free VFX pack. So if you would like to go and check that out, go check it out with the link in the description below and you can follow along. But for the people that want to know how to create their own elements and really are eager to learn in After Effects, this tutorial is going to be for you, showing you a bit of tips and tricks and techniques that you can apply in creating your own HUD elements. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to create a new composition. And this can be full HD, so we're going to 1920 by 1080. I'm also going to uncheck transparency and then I'm going over here into my rounded shape tool. So rectangle tool, I'm going to create a rectangle and place that somewhere in the middle. And right here, I'm going to open up my rectangle. First thing that I want to do is um, duplicate this. And on this one, I'm going to disable it and just disable the other one so we can use the other one later on. And then for the stroke, I'm going to choose some kind of white stroke. And we have a nice thick stroke. And so right here, we can also open these settings up and we can go into the contents of the rectangle. And we can see that we have the rectangle path. We can change the roundness if we want to. So we want to make it sharper. We want to make it rounder, something like that. And we can also animate a trim path. So we can um, add some animation to this. So we can set this to zero, click on stopwatch and then move over a few frames, set it to 100. And now we have this animation of this animating on. Maybe we want to select our keyframes and set these to easy ease. So it's going to be a little bit smoother. And if you don't really like where it starts, we can change the offset here to start, for example, from the center point. And that looks cool. By the way, for anyone looking for computer gear, I highly want to recommend Corsair. They didn't sponsor today's video, but from time to time they send us free products. And we have been working with a lot of products in the past, and I must admit that their products are the best on the market. They have an extraordinary build quality. I really enjoy working with the Corsair Skimitar RGB mouse. It has a bunch of buttons that you can see on the side, which you can then modify or customize for your editing preferences. For example, when I cut, trim or save videos, I can do all of that just on my mouse. And they've also sent us this huge mouse mat. It's way bigger than a regular one, so that gives you the perfect comfort at your office. Anyway, if you are interested in gear, go and check out Corsair. They're really nice and they have amazing products. So links are also in the description for that. And let's continue with the video. And so now once it's light up, we want the um, background to kick in. So maybe here we want to apply some effects like also I'm going to turn this into white. But I'm going to press T on the keyboard and lower the opacity quite a bit. And I'm going to add Venetian lines to this. That's an effect within After Effects. And if we increase this, we're going to see these lines. But we can also rotate these and scale the width. And like that, we're going to get some kind of yeah, cuts in there. So it's going to be up to you, however you want to see this. Maybe we want to animate this on, so something like this. Click on the stopwatch for the complete completion at 100%. And then a little bit later, we're going to set it to something like that. Zoom, it's coming in. We have um, our bar. And so now I want to add a warning. Uh, so warning, make it bigger, place it in the center point. And so warning should be going on and off all the time. So what I will do is I will press T on the keyboard, set it to zero, click on the stopwatch. And one second later, I'm going to set it to 100. And then one second later, I'm going to set it back to zero. And I'm going to select all of these keyframes, easy ease, copy, paste, and at four seconds, paste it and paste it. Or what I could also do is actually um, if you want to use an expression, you can alt click on this and go here, properties, loop out. Uh, we actually just need a loop out, so. And there we have it. So that looks really cool as well. We can do the same thing using another expression. Hold alt and click on the stopwatch, wiggle. Uh, open parentheses, seven comma, for example, 50, 
uh, seven times a second, it's going to change with a random value of 50. So uh, it's going to have some kind of flickering to it, something like that. Maybe the warning, we want it to be filled in red and we also want this to the edge here for the stroke. So we add a fill here. And we can see that this one is still exceeding because we didn't make it the same size. So we're also going to jump in here and round up the rectangle path. And I think the opacity here, I'm flickering it a little bit too much. So something like that. And now it's really playing with like the thickness of uh, the stroke to make it look a little bit nicer. Maybe the thickness is a little bit too big. Maybe you want another line on top of that and make it a little bit bigger. Like this. And maybe we don't want to animate the rectangle this time. So we're going to open up the trim path and just make it like something like this. And then we do want to make it thicker. And maybe we want to offset it all the time. So we're going to alt click on the offset time times maybe something like 10 or 100. And now we have a rotator under this. So we can now duplicate this and we could go in this one and offset it a little bit more or like add an expression with value plus time times 100. And what this does is it takes the value from our offset and it actually considers it. Otherwise, it's just going to bluntly ignore this. So now if we're going to adjust this, we can see that we can adjust the position here. And now we have two of these. So yeah, really playing around with this, um, duplicating one more time, for example, and then uh, maybe make it thinner again. Um, but now we are going to make it longer. So we're going to content rectangle trim paths, make it longer and then offset it like this. Maybe we want this to be white and bring it below this one and, and play it. So this is now an element that we can use as a hood element, um, play with the colors, play with all these different settings and make your animations. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and also be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, I'm going to leave you with another video of mine right here and I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, create epic videos.